the title, I love a good pun and a movie reference. So uh, when I uh, came up with this one, I uh, didn't really put a, a subtitle that actually explained what it was. So if you uh, did click through and look at the abstract and work out what it was about and you still came along, uh, thank you very much. For <laughs> it's much appreciated. Uh, well, what I'm doing, looking at is uh, fixing uh, geographic duplicates on Wikidata um, and Cebuano Wikipedia and um, GeoNames. So, uh, as I said, I'm Alex from uh, Wikimedia Australia, um, user Canly on Wikimedia projects, and uh, Metacortex on uh, Twitter, sorry, X, and Mastodon, and GitHub. And the GitHub's important because, I'll, um, because a lot of this talk and the, uh, I guess, the code and queries and so on, I'll be putting on, on GitHub. Um, I basically want everywhere to have everywhere in the world to have uh, comprehensive geographic data on Wikidata. It's just so useful for all sorts of other projects and analysis and using Wikidata to its um, maximum uh, uh, utility, I suppose. Uh, so here's the GitHub repository I mentioned. Um, GitHub Metacortex, spelt in a very strange way, uh, slash geodedupe. Um, I'll show it at the end if you if you if you want. But uh, as I said, it's a little bit technical. Uh, I'll be showing lots of queries and um, uh, you know techniques and and so on and use of the using the API. Uh, but uh, but yeah, you can. I'll be putting everything on there. And so if you are interested, uh, particularly if you want to to work this for your you know apply these techniques for your own country or um, or, or any data in, 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 in Wikipedia and Wikidata, um, you can, you can uh, get it on there and feel free to fork them, adapt them, uh, contribute anything you want. So what is the problem? Um, what I'll be looking at is a particular case for Aotearoa New Zealand. Um, at Wikimedia Australia, we work very closely with our friends and colleagues and cousins across, across the ditch, as we say, in, in Aotearoa. Um, I'm looking at New Zealand because they have a very good uh, definitive uh, data set from, the, from Land Information New Zealand, um, and that's what I'm using to, to sort of, I guess, detect where there are duplicates uh, existing in Wikidata. So the problem is that from 2014 to 2019, uh, LSJBot, um, which you might have heard of, there's a Wikipedia article about it at the bottom there, generated 9.5 million articles on the Cebuano and the Swedish Wikipedias. I believe the Swedish Wikipedia deleted a lot of these articles but um, a lot of the ones on the Cebuano um, remain. Um, in the years since, other bots then went and created uh, Wikidata items for the, the articles that were in the, the Cebuano Wikipedia. So what that means is that, uh, um, yeah, yeah there's, there's many, many thousands of duplicates, um, mostly for geographic places, but for all sorts of uh, the topics that, uh, that were generated here. Um, so LSJBot used, uh, used various data sources to generate these articles. Um, for geographic places and objects, it used a site called GeoNames, which, and this might sound familiar, is an openly licensed uh, user-contributed global gazetteer. So it's all released under a Creative Commons license. It's uh, free. It covers the whole world. It's an amazing resource. And I just want to say I'm not, this is not a criticism of LSJBot, of GeoNames, of Cebuano Wikipedia, of, uh, of anything. This is... It's kind of more a cautionary tale of the, of the perils of, I guess, you know, doing large imports or, or uh, you know, bot generation uh, um, without, you know, sort of maybe doing a, a bit more sort of care. And is it a bit ironic? I will be covering, you know, sort of, I guess, automated ways to try and clean up some of this data. And uh, so just uh, keep that in mind if, you're, if you want to sort of adapt this or use this. And I'll be trying to keep it in mind too, just to be careful about, uh, you know, about when you're doing any kind of large scale or, or rapid um, work like this. So GeoNames, the uh, website's there, geonames.org. As I said, it's a very comprehensive um, uh, sort of global gazetteer with uh, coordinates and, and names for all sorts of places all around the world, every country. Unfortunately, there are some uh, issues with the accuracy. Um, the coordinates are often highly inaccurate. Um, this is quite strange. They're actually uh, the data sources list that they have used, Land Information New Zealand Gazetteer data and uh, Statistics New Zealand um, information. Um, so I'm not sure why the coordinates are almost universally wrong. Um, I had a few theories about it. I think there was an academic paper about it which, where they were, had some theory about bounding boxes. Someone suggested to me before that it's actually they've used digitised maps and actually used the location of the name label. 
which is why they're all a bit off. So the name label is never actually where on the point where the you know mountain is or a river is. And there's a lot of a lot of the rivers will have multiple coordinates, uh, and uh, that could be because you know a river will have the, the name of the river at numerous locations. So I'm not sure if that's the reason why, but uh, th there's some very strange issues with duplicates and um, and coordinates being quite. Uh, significantly wrong. And I've, I mentioned the duplicates, so where objects have been imported to geonames multiple times. So this seems to have happened with geonames. I think uh, if there are issues in, in other countries, they could be different or they could be the same, but it looks like, uh, and I think this is the, to do with the way Land Information New Zealand does categorise everything. It categorises all mountains as hills and all hills as hills. It categorises all rivers as streams. And so I think someone uh, has imported all the uh, mountains as hills and also imported them as mountains. So that's why there's a lot of duplicates um, with these. Um, so I've done a chart of, this is uh, the raw GeoNames data set. This isn't on what's on Wikidata, but this is straight from GeoNames where you can download uh, an extract of, uh, of, of each country's um, full data set. Um, they've got these codes here, but uh, as you can see, stream STM is the far and away the most common one with the most duplicates. Um, and hill, mountain, hill and MT mountain, and uh, I think peak as well. So there's all the, I think, yeah, there's, there's a lot of duplicates across all sorts of categories, but I think to, to deal with most of them most efficiently, if we look at the streams, you know, rivers and hills and mountains, um, you know, that will, that will fix most of the issue as quickly um, in, the, in the most efficient way. So, as I said, the duplicates problem seems to be mainly occurring for certain feature types, mountains and hills, and rivers and streams. So let's look at some examples. Um, I've, I've picked some kind of random names and then looked at them in the, in the New Zealand Gazetteer. It's the official authoritative data set, and also um, in, in GeoNames and uh, Wikidata. So I looked at Blue Mountain. Um, there's five results. You can see where they are on the map there. Um, this is in GeoNames, um, that's how the GeoNames search results shows up. Um, I've filtered by Mountain Hill Rock because quite often there'll be a town or a locality with the same name as another geographic feature. So I've, um, I've filtered by that type. Um, and it uh, uh, looks like a lot more, but they're also, it's also picking up you know, Blue Hill and uh, Blue Mountain Pass and so on in the, in the search results. But if you look at uh, which hills or mountains are named Blue Mountain in the GeoNames data set, there's seven results. So already we can see there's two more results than we should have. Um, here's a plot of the map. It's a little, probably a little hard to see there, but you can see the three at the top on the South Island um, are a bit lighter, and the two below are, the, uh, are a bit darker. Um, it's got a bit of a transparency on those dots, so it just means that there are two uh, points there, two items called Blue Mountain, uh, very close to each other and pretty much on top of each other. And that corresponds to the, the comparing the five results to the seven results, that there are two duplicates here. Uh, the other one is the Wairoa River, um, filtered by stream type. So there's a couple on the North Island uh, and two on the South Island. Seven results. Uh, 23 results in, um, in GeoNames. Uh, and as I said, it looks like a lot more because it's picking up anything related. But uh, yeah, it already you can see, uh, particularly with rivers and streams, where they're usually represented by a line, same with mountain ranges, um, they will often have a, quite a long range of, uh, of duplicates. And here's the plot of those, plotted as blue dots. You can see it generally matches the, the uh, Gazetteer one, but you can see there's sort of quite, you know, quite a few more dots and lines and so on. So how can we pick these up? Um, there are two ways. Um, you, can, you can do a geospatial query, um, but what I've actually done here is used, oh, how can this be fixed? Um, oh yeah, so I'll just take you back, going back to, to how to fix the issues on Wikidata. Um, first of all, there's a mix and match catalog for the New Zealand Gazetteer that I've set up a couple of years ago. Um, it's going quite well. It's got about 60% uh, matched. Um, but uh, yeah, some of the difficulty in doing these matches is and reconciliation is in all these duplicates that exist. Um, so yeah, that's a, but the first step is to, is to reconcile items to, to their, uh, their LINS ID, Land Information New Zealand ID. Um, second is to identify the duplicated items. So as I said, you can see there's the, for those two examples, um, there's, there's quite a few. Uh, then to remove the Cebuano site links and merge the duplicate items in Wikidata, and then replace the coordinates. As I said, um, even if there's only one item, the coordinates are usually quite inaccurate. 
Um, so we can use the, the lens gazet here ones which are more accurate and replace them. And those last two can be done with the quick statements tool um, on Toolforge. Um, people have been fixing them manually. Myself, uh, user Prosperosity, user Shaky Isles, uh, who've been you know going through and manually merging uh, Wikidata items. Um, it takes quite a you know takes a few minutes for each one. Um, and so this is why I've been working on a, on sort of more sort of automated techniques to do this. Um, and yeah, so I mean, but looking at which ones have been manually merged and how I've done this is by querying where there's multiple geo names IDs. So where they've been merged, um, each item with a single geo names ID has been merged into a single Wikidata item. Um, it'll have a number of IDs. So that's given me a vague idea of uh, of how many. And as you can see, we're only just over a third. Thirty seven percent have been merged. But there's still, um, from what I identified uh, with various queries, was uh, there's, there's still about 63% um, to go. Um, so what I've used, I guess, yeah, I, the part about identifying the which ones are duplicates, I've used um, clustering, which is, uh, I, it's usually counted as a machine learning um, technique or algorithm, but it's basically just a geostatistical algorithm. Um, and as I said, there's two different types. There's points like mountains, where their mountain peak or summit is, is, a, is a point. Um, but there's also those rivers and mountain ranges which are represented by lines. And I found that two different, these two different, uh, I guess, algorithms I've used uh, work you know, um, better for one and the other. So for mountains, and with the points like this, k-means clustering um, works really well. Um, it, it, it detects where there is no cluster, where the, where the item doesn't have a duplicate and it sort of just puts them in cluster zero. But the other two, you can see it's identified the two which showed up on that map before, it's a little bit darker, uh, which do have duplicates as, as cluster one and two down in the, uh, in the middle of the South Island. Um, why row a river? For, so for rivers, I found that this, uh, the algorithm DB scan works better for linear features, like rivers, streams, and mountain ranges. Um, and as you can see, it's picked up the, the seven uh, duplicates there. Um, and it's worked quite accurately. I, used, I did use the k-means algorithm on this as well, and it wasn't quite you know, as, as, uh, as accurate as, as this one. So I, that's what I would recommend, is using dbscan for, um, for rivers and uh, the uh, k-means for mountains. Okay, and then so we've identified our duplicates. What do we do now? We want to merge them in Wikidata. This can be done in quick statements, as I mentioned. Um, you need to remove the, uh, the Cebuano Wikipedia site link because that will... Um, because you can't just merge it if it's got two site links, it'll clash. Um, and you can do that by replacing it in quick statements with an empty string. So the top line there, I'm saying uh, for that item, which I've identified as a duplicate, um, on the site link said wiki, and I've put an empty string and that's removed the, the, the site link. And then you can use the merge command in quick statements to merge and redirect to the target item. You'll probably still have to do some other cleanup, remove duplicate coordinates, um, I would leave the geo names IDs because it shows that they, you know, that, you, that our data has been merged. Okay, uh, fixing the coordinates is also can be pretty easily done in um, in uh, uh, quick statements. As I said, we have a um, we have a way of yeah um, we can we can use quick statements and uh, we can run a query to list geographic coordinates. Uh, thankfully, the, the ones from GeoNames uh, usually have a reference saying they're from the Cebuano Wikipedia, so you can do a, a Sparkle query to get uh, a list of coordinates that are cited to the Cebuano Wikipedia. And then you can use quick statements to replace the coordinates with them, the more accurate ones. Um, so yeah, there's a, um, uh, yeah, sort of, I guess, the screenshots of, the, of that process uh, from running a Sparkle query, uh, getting a result, the results, um, of the coordinates that are referenced to the Cebuano Wikipedia, then using quick statements to remove the, that, the inaccurate coordinate and then add the, the, uh, the new one in. And I've also included um, uh, the reference to say that this uh, is referenced to the, the uh, New Zealand gazetteer. So um, that's, uh, um, yeah, that's how fixing it in Wikidata, which is probably the easy part. Uh, but I didn't want to just fix up Wikidata and then leave, you know, um, the, I want to really close the loop on this, um, I guess in a way to make sure it doesn't happen again, <laughs> um, that someone uses, you know, these sites. So I actually want to um, also fix up the Cebuano Wikipedia um, for, for New Zealand and, you know, potentially um, other countries and also geonames. So how do we, how do, we do that? 
Um, so <laughs> um, I've downloaded a, a dump from, you can download dumps from, I think it's dumps.wikimedia.org. You can download a dump of any Wikipedia, current versions. You can download all the, all the versions and all the metadata and all sorts of information, uh, whatever, you, whatever you need. So in this case, you can, I've just downloaded the current version of the Cebuano Wikipedia. Um, as I said, I've been running the, the analysis and those you know, clustering algorithms on the GeoNames data set, but as I said, a lot of them have already been manually merged in, um, uh, also in, they've, they've been manually merged in, in the Cebuano Wikipedia and, and in Wikidata. So um, could be a good idea. You can query Wikidata, but you could also, um, you know, identify where the actual articles exist. Another problem is if, if it's been manually merged, um, you know, by myself or others, We've probably just deleted the site link and haven't merged or redirected the Cebuano article, so it's just sitting there with not connected to a Wikidata item. Um, so that might be a yeah. You could uh, you could potentially use this dump to compare um, where there's a unattached um, Cebuano article with no Wikidata item, and then you can you can merge that properly. Um, so I guess, yeah, this was, uh, whew, I was quite relieved. I, I only did this the other day, got, got it working, <laughs> which, was, which is good because my whole talk was kind of predicated on this, was uh, using the MediaWiki API. Um, so you can actually use this for all sorts of things, but I was, what I was trying to do was uh, do a merge or sort of redirect an article. Uh, essentially, I was replacing the content of an article which had been, which was about a, a geographic object which I'd identified as a duplicate and then redirect it to, I, I, you know, whatever I decided was the, um, you know, the, the, the core one, the source of truth, the, the single one that I wanted to, to merge into. Um, so, yeah, I've managed to do that using uh, OAuth. Um, uh, what I'll try and do is, is set, it, set up, you know, this code in the, in the GitHub repository so that uh, it can use, you know, OAuth so that anyone can log in using their account, get centrally authenticated using OAuth, and then, and then uh, you know, they could run, run uh, you know, these... Uh, these bits of code to, to sort of uh, merge these articles in Wikidata and um, in the Wikipedia. Um, but in this case, I've just set up a, a, a sort of very basic, it just works for my account, um, Canly, and, uh, and yeah, I'll, I'm just sort of, you know, request a token, sends me a token back, and then I can connect to this. So it actually did work, which I was very uh, <laughs> delighted to, to find. But um, yeah, I, I hadn't actually used the, the dump at this point. I was just sort of using some of those examples that I showed you before. And, uh, and merging them uh, in, in, in uh, the Cebuano Wik Wikipedia. So yeah, the, the top, the, sorry, the, the first one is the link to the dump. The second one is, is, uh, is Postman, which is a, uh, an app for um, interacting with APIs or building APIs. Um, you can all, there's other, many other ways to do it. You can do it in a web browser. You can do it programmatically in Python code or R code or um, however you want to. Um, they've got all, all sorts of ways. You submit a post request, use your token, to authenticate that your account, and then uh, you put in uh, action. You want a, uh, a page ID, or you can also use the title to, to identify which article you want to merge. Um, you put a summary, uh, so put merging with duplicate, and you put text, which is actually the whole article text. But in this space, because I just want to redirect, I just put uh, hash redirect, and then the name of the article I want to, to redirect to. And as you can see, it returns this JSON snippet saying that it was success, and it successfully merged the article. And when I look at the page history for that article, you can see that I've merged it um, into another article. So this was, you know, I mean, this takes, took a few minutes. I could, probably could have done it manually in the same time, but it just means that it is possible to programmatically write uh, code to, to sort of more rapidly uh, do this, you know, um, to identify the duplicates and then to merge them um, into, uh, you know, what you identify as the main article. And how you do that is another issue. Um, there's still issues with the, the coordinates on the Cebuano Wikipedia because they are from GeoNames. Um, and you could, I guess you could do that programmatically too. You have the dump of the, of the article text. Um, you, could, you could potentially edit it. But, uh, so depends on how far you want to go, but just what I'm looking at here is, uh, is uh, uh, yeah, it's a sort of fairly uh, simple uh, way <laughs> of trying to, try to <laughs> get it as simple as possible. And just to sort of show that it is possible to uh, programmatically make these uh, a to identify the duplicates and B to to uh, to um, generate the uh, or to you know to to clean them up and tidy them up in in Wikidata and and, Wiki, and a Wikipedia. Um, so as I said, um, that's quite a complicated 
process, I'll try and set it up so it's a bit more. Um, and and just to yeah, just to be clear, I do I do want this to be a you know to be as like I'm, I'm working on New Zealand here, but um, I do want this to be sort of I guess usable for any country or or even it doesn't even have to be geographic objects anywhere where there is a bot generated article. Um, geographic places, of course, work particularly well with um, with uh, you know, coordinates because they're they're literally meant to find you know things that are near each other. Um, but uh, yeah, um, it's a pretty complicated process how to use the API, how to get that authentication, and so on. So I'll put all these instructions on the GitHub repository. I've set it up now, so you can go there now. I'll put the slides from this talk in there. Um, there's really not much. Um, uh, yeah, there's not much on there at the moment, but uh, over the next few weeks and months, I'll be I'll be adding more and more, mostly sort of, uh, I guess, uh, you know, kind of a journal of, of uh, <laughs> how I'm doing it and what I'm doing. Um, oh, there'll be some data sets you can download. There'll be some reports and queries, uh, Sparkle queries, um, and so on that you can that you can use to, um, uh, you know, just see if it works for you, um, if you want to uh, contribute. But uh, yeah, I mean, if you, I'll, I will be working on the, the New Zealand data set and cleaning that up over the next few weeks. Um, and yeah, if you want to con contribute, you can, but, I, but I'm, you know, I should have, should have it uh, completed uh, pretty soon. Okay, and closing the loop, uh, going back to, to GeoNames. So as I said, you know, GeoNames is amazing data set, open licensed, freely available, very comprehensive. It just has um, a few issues uh, and it's possible to, uh, to, to resolve duplicates, you know, have, you know, redirect them or, or merge the items um, by, uh, I think you report them on their, on their discussion forum and uh, the, you know, the administrator can, can uh, you know, you, uh, so what I was hoping to do was, you know, use the uh, the clustering algorithms to generate, you know, lists of duplicates. Uh, these GeoNames IDs are duplicates of, you know, maybe go with the first one, the earliest one, the lowest number, and just say, and the, the, these ones are duplicates, and can you merge them and post that to the the forum and hopefully administrator. Hopefully, <laughs> um, I've seen them do it. I don't know at, at this scale. We're talking like you know, probably about two thousand rivers, you know. Uh, 800 mountains, so you know maybe 3,000 3, items. Um, I can point them to the the GitHub repository, I suppose, you know, and, and see if they they want to do it. But hopefully, yeah, this is just trying to sort of close that loop, um, sort of once and for all. Uh, yep, there's the GitHub repository again. Um, uh, as I said, uh, I've put the slides up. Um, I've put a few Sparkle queries in there um, that I've been using, and uh, uh, yeah, I can. Um, uh, yeah, and I'll be adding to that um, significantly with uh, how to use the API, um, how to run queries, how to run the clustering algorithms. Um, yeah, if, if just in case you want to do it for, um, if there's yeah, issues that you've identified in uh, Wikidata, in Cebuano Wikipedia, or in GeoNames for, for your own country, and hopefully um, we can get the whole world cleaned up. Okay, and uh, yeah, as I said, the GeoNames and, and the uh, New Zealand Gazetteer are both under Creative Commons um, licenses. So um, yes, that uh, works uh, very well with all our wiki world. Um, so that's all I've got. Does anyone have uh, five minutes, four or five minutes? Uh, any? <laughs> if anyone has any questions, are we happy to answer them? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Uh, that's great stuff. It really is uh, wonderful to see this problem being solved. Uh, so about 10,000 things fixed for New Zealand, a couple of hundred other countries. It's uh, quite a bit, a lot of work. Um, maybe we could send Sverker Johansson the invoice for all our time. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, uh, I was just wondering how is this going to scale, and I am a bit concerned that GeoNames just does not have the capacity to actually merge that data, and hopefully we can stop someone else from running a bot, at least mm. to create those with some bio articles. Yeah, that's again. something I'm a bit worried about too. Just the, yeah. the, the, I mean, like I said, I've seen, I've seen it happen. Like I've seen people have posted links, but we're talking like a list of about, you know, twenty or something duplicates that they've identified, and, and we're talking like hundreds and thousands here. And, and as you said, that's just for New Zealand, um, <laughs> the whole world. Um, there's a lot of there's there's not a lot, but there's a few articles about it, and they just, um, and blog posts where people were saying, you know, the GeoNames data set is amazing, but you know, like it's it's kind of like amazing and terrible. It's the best we've got. Like it's one of the only global, 
you know, and consistent gazetteers that, you know, covers the whole world. And if you want to compare, you know, one country with another, you know, within the same, you know, consistent format, that's a, um, it's a great way to do it. But yeah, it has these problems and, and you're right, maybe it's, a, I mean, I'm, I'm just, like I said, it's just an assumption that they can fix them and they'll want to fix them. They have, they do have a paid, you know, professional subscription service, which is quite, you know, quite significantly <laughs> expensive, which they, uh, and they say that they, they, you know, they run all these, you know, clean up, you know, or, or sort of they <laughs> clean up algorithms and so on. And, you know, they're, they're very well, you know, carefully checked. But uh, so yeah, I think it would be in their interest to, to have, uh, you know, uh, clean data wherever possible. Yeah, that was going to be my question, um, whether you'd had actually anyone or talked to anyone actually at GeoNames to see whether they're prepared to do um, any of this cleanup. Uh, no, I hadn't. Uh, um, <laughs> as I said, it's just yeah, I was just looking. Have at... you got plans to? Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I probably should, and and and, and the Cebuano Wikipedia too. Like <laughs> I, I sort of someone asked me, you know, have you have you uh, talked to anyone at the Cebuano Wikipedia? And I was like, uh, no, I probably should. So yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a, you know, you're right. That's a a, a very good point. Uh, I, I I am kind of you know <laughs> um, wading into to sort of waters that uh, you know, and, and I don't want to tread on any toes, but uh, you know, I'm tr trying to trying to be helpful, but uh, but yeah, it's, a, it's a definitely a good idea to, to talk to the people who are involved in these projects. On your screenshot of the of the redirect on Cebuano, it has below saying that it's in the category of redirects that have a Wikidata item. Oh yeah, yes. And yes. I was surprised about that because I thought you would have already cleaned up the Wikidata items. Ah, yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very good point. Uh, well, well spotted. Um, Denny's right. There was a. Um, there was a uh, yeah, there was a category on the Cebuano item that I merged, saying that there was a Wikidata item attached to the redirect, and that was because I had done that first and I hadn't uh, redirected. I, I have since done it, so I think that that uh, category is now gone. But uh, yes, yes, well spotted. Yeah. So first of all, thanks for doing this work. This uh, very much. <laughs> Um, I'm looking forward to, to start using this. Um, my, I have two questions. First is, do you have any plans to make this um, maybe a web interface, something that could be easier for other people to use? Maybe yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to, I'd love to, to, to sort yeah. of do a, a, a you know, web interface or something on ToolForge or something. Yeah, yeah. So at the moment, it's just all this code and I'm just sort of trying to get that working. But, uh, but yeah, my aim is to have a, a, a sort of, you know, a, a public interface that, people can use them. And, you know, sort of something that will show you, you know, the, I think these are clusters, you know, do you agree? Just, just giving it that human uh, touch, right. yeah. And second question is, the, what you're talking about and what you're focused uh, on your work so far is mostly merging duplicate items. But one thing that, that I uh, notice that happens a lot with the items from the, created from the Cebu and Wikipedia is that it actually, uh, they actually have different items for uh, things that normally are conflated in, in Wikidata. So, for example, uh, a municipality and the city that is the seat of that municipality mm. and I would personally like to separate those items some people yeah. prefer to merge them uh, but I think in Wikidata well, in Wikipedia it makes sense to have them uh, joined but perhaps in Wikidata it makes sense to separate them yeah. I'm not sure if you thought about this like th the opposite uh, operation so splitting based on Cebuano or, or some other data yeah. source I'm aware that's a very yeah that's sort of a bit controversial when I've tried to avoid it with okay. this, but uh, but yeah, there, there's a, there is a whole, and, and you can see that on the GNAMES forum, there's lots of discussion about, you know, some, someone saying these are duplicates and someone says, no, that's a city, that's a municipality and they're different. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of debates on that. <laughs> Thank you, thanks for the question. Uh, um, oh, sorry, I'll, yeah. Um. Yeah, so I had uh, one comment and two questions, but one question was just uh, answered, asked yep. and answered. So I start with the comment. Um, I, I would say we still have to thank maybe LSJ Bot and their creator for unearthing the problem for us. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. otherwise, maybe we wouldn't even be aware of it. Um, and now the smaller question is, since you uh, edited Cebuado Wikipedia in an automated manner quite um, a lot, did you never g got any um, contact from them or from, from other um, editors from Cebuado Wikipedia or any uh, other Wikipedia that you have edited with your scripts? Uh, no, I have. I mean, I have, because I haven't done it very. I mean, I've only you know recently worked out how to do it. So it's uh, yeah. I'm, I'll, I'll, we'll try and you know get in touch with. Uh, okay, uh, okay. There. I, have, I haven't done any bulk editing yet. It's just, it's just kind of a proof of concept. So. Uh, <laughs> I see. Okay. Anyway, Thank but you. I'll, 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 I'll put it on there. Thanks. Thanks, everyone.